TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 12. NASDAQ is down 252. S&P is down 38. Gold. Gold contract down $6.70, trading 1820 an ounce. We have silver off $0.08, cents, $23.12 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $0.84, cents, $81.80 a barrel. That's a pretty, that's a big number in oil, no doubt. Notes and bonds. 10-year note right now up eight, four ticks, 128.23. 30-year up 17 at 156. 18. And what the 30 year has done, folks, is that the 30 year got back inside the higher range. So this is going to be intriguing watching how this whole thing's going to shake out. 10 year is not inside the higher range yet. King dollar, King dollar continues lower. That's down 122 ticks, trading 94,792. Euro, 114. Yen, 114.06. And the British pound at 137 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the spy. And this is, gonna, this is an interesting setup, folks, because what you have here now is that. You're pulling back, and guess what? You're in a contraction of volume as to what we're going into. The bottom line is that when we had gone down on Monday, uh, the high of the low there is 465.76. We have volume there of 119 million. We came off of that with 74. Now, it doesn't even look like we're going to do 74. So you dig it into the 74 aspect of it, and we'll see how this baby shakes out. What very well we could set up here as you get into the highs of the lows, maybe tomorrow it rejects lower price, and bottom line, it's still going to go after its highs. It's telling us quite a bit right now that you do have a contraction as we are going south. We take a look at the NDX 100. NDX 100, same type of setup. Uh, the, the, the difference is that the NDX is, did it hit it yet? 380.64. Yeah, it did. Okay. So the NDX, this is going to tell us a lot. The NDX, we know is weaker. The high of the low is 380.64. We're underneath it right now. 91 million shares versus 54 million. So keep your eye on that because it would very well possibly happen here. If we dig into, we've dug into that 40 cents. If you dig into that another, let's say, three, yeah, another buck, buck and a half, uh, you're going to go to the bottom of that baby. And if we do that tomorrow, you're going to have light volume tomorrow because it's a long weekend. Um, you know, Monday, markets close, plenty of traders uh, split. If you're from the Northeast, I always remember this is always a big deal. Getting on the plane, getting to Florida, grooving, and you can expect those desks are going to close down early. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.